Hello, this is Chad from School of the American Rifle. Today, I'm producing a video in conjunction with AR Bill Junkie about AR-15 gas rings. So we have two different types of rings here. We have our standard legacy type rings, it's three-piece rings, and then we have a McFarlane or JP Enterprises. Other companies make these. These are one-piece gas rings, so they're one entire piece. They're not sectioned like these. So I'm going to show you how to test standard three-piece rings and how these can be deceptive and you can't use the standard test. And I'll let you decide whether or not these rings or these rings are right for you. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your bolt carrier out of your weapon. You're going to make sure it's unloaded of course. And the first test that I do, which is a summary test, is I will take the bolt and extend it and then I will lay it on a solid surface. I'll put it up here on this anvil. And it should be able to hold the weight of the carrier. It should not do this. But if it does that, it doesn't mean that they're bad. I'm going to move to step two. So this is the first step. So you can do this easily without taking the gun all the way apart. So step two would be to strip the guts out of the bolt group. So I'm firing pin retaining pin, firing pin, cam pin. So we can take the bolt out. You're going to seat your bolt all the way. You're going to hold your bolt carrier with your hand. And you're going to give it a shake. If the bolt falls out, the rings are bad. If it stays in, they're still trustworthy. Okay? So that's the way you test it. So I'm going to show you some examples here. Now I apologize for the tags. These are tags for examples I use in my armor and my build classes. And we're not going to focus on those, but I want to explain why they're there. We have two bolts here with standard three-piece rings on them. These two here. And they have these kind of rings. And then we have two bolts here, these two, with the one-piece ring. There. We have two bolt carriers we're going to use this test for, for this test as well. A phosphate and chrome line carrier and a nitride carrier. So these are the three piece rings. So let's say this was assembled in a gun and we tried to do our bolt face test. So we put it here and look, it just drops on its own. It's not going to work. So then we take it all apart, we put our bolt in and then look, it won't stay in. So if those rings are bad, we replace all three. Easy peasy, right? Do the same thing. Put it in here. You get a little bit of tension, but again, it falls out. Bad rings, right? Well, let's move to a different bolt carrier. Let's go to the chrome line one. This is going to show you the variances depending on what parts and components you select. So same one. Failed before. It failed again on the phosphate one. All right. Switch to this one. It failed on the nitride. And look. So just the tolerance in this particular carrier means that these gas rings pass. So the test is on its face and then try to shake it loose. This still has good gas rings. And it's almost impossible to tell most of the time by looking them, at them that they're worn or not. Now if they are worn and they fail the test where it falls out like this, when you take them out of the bolt, they look like this most of the time. See how they're all eaten away? So I'll get good ones. Good ring. Look, see how much more is eaten away? So you don't have to take your bolt apart to look for this. The tension test that we're doing here will tell you if they're to this point. Now sometimes you only have one ring that's bad when you take them apart and two look fine. You still replace them in threes. Now the one piece ring that we have it gives you a more deceptive test and you can't trust the standard test with this. So here's one of our one piece rings. We're going to put it in this nitride carrier and it falls out. All right. Now the problem with trying to use this test on one piece rings is depending on the dimensions of the ring and the dimensions of the carrier you're using, you saw that we had different results from these two with the three piece rings. It can cause this to be very tight when it's brand new, if you just put a new one piece ring on here, or it can be very loose. But if it's tight, once it wears in, they all behave like this. There's another one, one piece ring. Falls out, see? Now if we move it over to the phosphate one, we get a little bit different behavior. That one falls out, but look at this one, watch. We can still stand it up too. It won't collapse. Just change in between the carriers. So we get the same type of weird results with the three piece rings, but with this, once these wear in to this particular carrier, 
we can't trust the test anymore. So it's hard to determine if you use a one-piece ring if your rings are about to stop working for you. So the standard three-piece rings give you a good test that you can do at home without having to have a lot of gauging or measuring equipment to say, okay, these are no more good and I need to replace them. Where these, it's a lot more guesswork. So I leave that decision up to you, but I wanted to explain why there is a pro to the standard three-piece rings and some cons to the one-piece ring. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching School of the American Rifle. Look for more videos like this on ARBillJunkie.com.